Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to the shadow barrier place thingy. And here we are. That was fast. <laughs> uh, just get out your normal bow here and shoot this guy because he's going to get in your way when you try to get across there. He's very, very wily though. <laughs> Very, very quick. Over here is a bomb. You want to shoot that. It's a bomb flower, which actually turns out to be a switch. Yeah, of all things. <laughs> that had me stuck when I came in here on my blindish run here. But not this time, because I've already been through here. Now open. And you get arrows. Now, since this is a shadow room, you can pretty much guess that you're going to need the lens of truth. <laughs> So, equip that and time yourself to get across there and then get across here for that! So slippery! It's like I'm walking on ice when I have these shoes on! Okay! <laughs> these shoes always give me the willies. And I wonder if I should get out my fire arrows to light that torch. It saves me a little bit of magic power. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Need bombs for you. <laughs> No, please don't touch. I don't like contact. <laughs> so, I'm going to... Oh, right, right, I gotta turn that off. Like that. Chest will... Oh, well, that'll light up, excuse me. Wait, actually, what, what made the treasure chest appear over there? I, I completely forgot. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I remember, I remember. Oh, forgot to switch out the fire arrows to save magic, but whatever. There we go, that makes that chest appear. That's a key, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I should have bombed you guys before I came across here. Uh, I'm kind of trapped now, aren't I? Wait, no, I'm not. This is looking good, then. I, before, I blew that guy, and it blew up the other guy. <laughs> it works! So you get, like, a two-for-one kill here. I wonder if that would have worked in the original Shadow Temple, because that was a thing that sort of got me in the first run. Uh, remember that triple Beemos trap in the middle of that? Yeah, you you know what I'm talking about. No, no, no. Grab. Not, not drop. Just throw. Uh, come on, man. This is not that hard. And there we go. It always looks so weird just like walking on air like that. But you know, but you know it's solid once you flip the camera on and you can just walk back and forth freely and blind. Alright, so last one is over there. It is just on the edge. Just roll yourself across! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Got a little bit too far ahead of myself. Oh, oh, please. Touch, please. There we go. And that pretty much completes the shadow room. So, go through this door. I don't think there's anything else in this place. I don't remember. I didn't see anything more, so I'm just going to assume that's all I needed. <laughs> Get your light arrows out. You can tell what to do in this room. Replenish your stuff. Providing that the drops are good, of course. And shoot. <laughs> shoot, there we go. Pop. Pop goes the barrier. <laughs> A shadow barrier is dispelled! Please save the princess! I will. Don't worry. Woo! And now we're back in the main room. Now, for the next one that I'm going to be doing here, what I'm going to do is actually skip doing the fire barrier because I can't do it until I get the gold gauntlets, so I'm going to skip that. And I can't even access that one until I get the gold gauntlets. You need the gold gauntlets to lift these kinds of pillars. Otherwise, they'll just be like, eh, I can't grab it at all. Yeah. So, you have to go to this one first to get the gold gauntlets. And that's what I'm going to do. And we got some slugmas. We got some zubats. <laughs> no! J Jesus! Got my attention divided between the keys, and I would like to hit you with my the tip of the sword. Oh, and this room is actually kind of funny. Uh, first, I want to get rid of the keys, though. Wherever the last one is, it's probably invisible, or unless it's stuck somewhere. 
Oh. It must, I must have been circling around the room at the same rate it was circling. Shouldn't have used those arrows. But anyway. But whoa! A pink rupee? That's a pink rupee drop of all things. That's r extremely rare. Anyway. Up there is a silver switch. Silver eye switch that lets you toggle it. Now watch this. An iron knuckle falls from the ceiling. <laughs> Whoa! That was not fair in the slightest. I just hit him and he just starts swinging right away. There's just no way I could have gotten away from that one. I want you to break these things, so please come a little bit closer. Please. Good. Good. That's a lot of hearts. Holy crap. <laughs> no. How did you miss that? Oh, there we go. And now I'll attack him normally. I must get into the infinite loop. <laughs> the most cheap way to defeat the Iron Knuckles. Actually, it's not cheap at all, because this is just like the fastest way you can defeat these guys without taking any hits. So, this is actually kind of like the proper way of defeating them. He's on top of the switch now. Use your way to knock down the switch. Um, now get out your Megaton Hammer. You can tell there's a rusty switch there. You should have seen that one coming. That's why you needed that guy. And the door opens. Quite nice if you ask me. No problems. And now we got this room. Oh, this is the one I need. No, 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 no. I need to put this... Yeah, I need to put away the... Um, Megaton Hammer. Otherwise, I can't use my shield. Whenever you have a heavy uh, item like the Megaton Hammer or the... Um, the Goron Sword, you can't use your shield it because it requires two hands. That's kind of like the weakness of the item. Anyway, you'll see this. Gave you bomb chews. That's the hint to the puzzle of this room. Just put it right through that hole up there and it'll scamper across the room. Hit the switch. Open that door. No problem. Very, very easy and very obvious puzzle. You! Although you kind of hurt a little bit. <laughs> um... What I'm gonna do is... Eh, I'll just go after you normally. I was gonna switch to the big Goron sword just because these guys are annoying. But I was like, eh, I wanna, I wanna go through this dungeon with the normal way, without the sword. As I said, I don't wanna abuse that sword. Very, very cheap weapon. Here's a double re-dead attack. Don't rape me, but I will rape you. <laughs> now, up on the ceiling, this is kinda weird. It doesn't even look like a web to me, actually. Um is if you look up there well i guess it does kind of look like a web but it's like i don't know like really foggy glass to me but yeah that you can pretty much tell what to do here <laughs> just light all these sun thingies i'm gonna do all of them before i check the contents of each i would like to hit touch touchy touch there we go it only takes a second for it to work and that one opens the door. This one over here gives you the gold gauntlets. That one right there. Even though it says dunung as if it's like a bad thing, it actually gives you something good. <laughs> um, well, one of these makes a wall master fall from the ceiling. Oh, that, that was the one. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Not a big deal. You know how to deal with these things. You should be able to recognize them from a mile away now. <laughs> And I think that, I think, yeah, I think that was all of them. Oh, look at that, my shield is just like... Zzzz. Yeah, that's it. Open, says me! And that's the final item in the game. This thing is used for very, very little, but nonetheless... It is necessary to get it to complete the game, especially for 100%. <laughs> so, yeah, now everything is truly complete except for one thing. Uh, I was actually disappointed when I went through here my first time. There wasn't any trap ice chest. I think that would have been pretty funny. I always love those ice chest traps because it's like, you think it's going to be good, but it's going to be bad. <laughs> 
Um, maybe those chests were like used as an ancient form of freezer or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get out ye old ice arrows. Ice arrows, light arrows, blah. Pierce the barrier. Say hello to the sage once again. The spirit barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, kid. And there we go. Now, now that I have the gold gauntlets, I th think what I'm going to do is take a little detour outside the castle because I would like to get the final upgrade in the game using these gauntlets. <clears throat> so I'm going to do... I'm not even going to cut. It seems kind of silly to cut like 30 seconds out. <laughs> Just leave the castle and then turn right at... Turn right. Turn left after the Rainbow Bridge. Ah, so pretty. So beautiful. And we go around here. Yeah, this is where the, uh, la the gold skull tula was over here. On the si left side of that arch there. You go over here. Oh, oh, look at that. There is a pillar. I would like to check this. Can I check it for the fun of it? <laughs> Gives you a little cutscene every time you lift one of these pillars. It's actually kind of cool. I wonder how much one of those things weighs. I mean, geez. <laughs> the gold gauntlets really give you strength. And sure enough, a great fairy's fountain. The final great fairy's fountain in the game, actually. But you should treat it just like you've treated the other great fairy's fountains and not look directly at her. Also, cover your ears. Oh god, cleavage shots! Why did I look? Why? <laughs> Why? That was the worst possible thing! Oh, anyway. She will enhance my defensive power. Watch your hearts at the upper left corner of the screen. They turn white! Well, the barrier does. She has now halved the damage that you take. So if you were to take one heart's worth of damage from something, you would now take a half a heart worth of damage. Incredibly handy and probably incredibly broken as well. <laughs> So there we go, and I think that's where I'm going to end off this part, since I got my upgrades. In fact, I got practically... Yeah, I do think I have everything in the game. You got the uh, gold gauntlets, you got the double health, got every single thing. This is awesome! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part when we do the last two rooms. So I should say the last two barriers of Ganon's castle. 